Howdy folks, this is Thalab, the Tanking Wizzy. I'm doing a video today on how to set up and run Dayok on both the Uthgard Free Shard server and the Origins Free Shard server. Now then, if you try to run them simultaneously, or try to run them one after the other, you have to do a patch file from Dayok, which takes forever unless you follow this method. What I did was I deleted all the folders, everything related to Dayok, so that I have everything clean. And what I want to do first is make an Origins folder and an Uthgard folder in order to get them separated since they are using separate patches. So I'll make my Uthgard make my origins now what I'll do is I'll go to where my setup files are and first off I'll run DAOC setup okay so I want to accept the terms and the license agreement now when I want to uh, go ahead and set this up to which folder I want to use either the origins or the Uthgard I'm going to go ahead and use the Uthgard so we'll install it to that folder would you like to create a game account? No. Okay now first thing we gotta do is this patch. This patch takes forever to do it's 3944 megabytes when I made this so sit back relax I will uh, edit out all the time that it takes for the patching. Yay, about eight minutes later and we're finally done patching. Now since we don't want to go into Dayok Live, we'll just cancel out of this. Go back into Explore. Go to our Uthgard folder. Now you want to just copy and paste that to your origins folder. This will take a few minutes also. Okay, now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and get set up for Uthgard and for Origins. Now you want to go back to those setup files and the next one you want to do is your Uthgard setup.exe this will in, uh, install the files that Uthgard needs. No, I don't want to run the Uthgard launcher. After you've done that, very simply double click on the Origins patch. Yes, extract it to wherever you want to extract it to. And then double click on the folder where you extracted it to. Highlight everything in there copy and go back to your origins folder and paste yes I want to do this for all current items yes replace the files and the destinations okay all that's done next we need to set up the portal that origins uses to connect so we want to go to our DAOC portal setup. Next, wherever wants to put it is fine. Next, yes, and then close. Okay, now we have everything almost completely set up. So what we want to do is go to our Uthgard launcher. Now, when you're into Uthgard, since you've probably been here before, it'll point to your Dayok folder from your original install. What we want to do is make sure that it's pointing to the right folder for your Camelot.exe. So you click on the plus like I just did, launch your settings, and then for game directory, click on change. And what we want to do is point it to where the camelot.exe file is for Uthgard. And you can see right here, click on open, 
click on save and now you can get into Uthgard. After of course it patches. Luckily, their patching only takes about a minute or two. And lo and behold, there you are. So now that we know we can get into Uthgard, let's set up for Origins. Double click on DAOC Portal. It'll update its files. Now what you need to do is go to File, Settings, and under Dayok Installation, set it for where your Origins folder is. So, and then you want to go to the camelot.exe under Origins. Don't bother patching it. And what you want to do is go down to non-supporting Dark Age of Origins under development and click on play and boom, you are in. Hope to see you all on the uh, servers and Next, I'll be doing on how to uh, put in your